Welcome back to Pokemon Volt Walk the Nuzlocke Run, episode 30, and I'm Circle Cat Zack. We are outside of Celestial Tower right now, a place of rest for innocent spirits. And basically, I was going to do some stuff off screen. I was going to actually change some moves around with that lady who will do that in exchange for a heart scale, but I don't have any heart scales left. I used the ones I had up already. Giving uh, Thief Zen Headbutt instead of Cut, and giving Altaria Roost and Cotton Guard instead of Bulldoze and Dragon Dance. But, uh. Yeah, really nothing other than that done. I was going to. What I was going to do was give Shaggy uh, Ancient Power so that when it leveled up it would evolve into a Mammal Swine. And I was also going to give Peter uh, Gear Grind which is a really good uh, steel type move, but I can't do that until I get some heart scales, which is probably not going to be until I get the ability to surf. So, we're going to have to wait on that. Uh, Peter in one uh, level does learn a really good stat raising move called uh, Shift Gear, which I believe increases its attack by one and its speed by two, or the other way around, I cannot remember. Um, but we still have a bunch of dudes to clear out of this uh, Celestial Tower area, so I think we're just going to get right into that. I'm going to put Thief in the front, just because, well, let me see here. Nah, Special Defense is pretty weak. We're going to put Altair back in the front. And I did leave that last spot in my party open. Haven't made a decision yet, just because I want to see what I catch here. And speaking of catching here, I don't want to catch anything on the second floor. So we're going to use the Super Repel. Now we've already been through here. And we're on the third floor. That is where we left off, guys. So, here we are. We battled you already. Have we battled you? I'm not sure. No, we have not. I still want to fight wandering spirits, command me! Alright, we'll see what you got. So it would appear that you have three Pokemon. The first one being a Swoobat. So Thief would have been a pretty good start, actually. So there's Cloud9. I'm going to. Do -do 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 -do. Shift into Peter and give it some of that Discharge or that Spark. I can take Psychics okay, and we'll give it a Spark. Air Slash did less, I don't know why you switched to it. And... Yes, that will do the trick. And now she has a Gothitelle. I'm gonna heal up and just see what happens with a Muma Milk. There we go. There is some kind of doctor or nurse in here who will heal you if you uh, beat her in a battle. So I think I'm gonna do that. Oh. Uh, I'll just use Spark again, see how much it does. That'll do less than the amount I want it to. Let's use a Mirror Shot. You jerk! I'm gonna have to heal up too. Don't especially want to switch out right now. Oh good, I'm so glad I did that, that turn. Let's try a Discharge out. Maybe we can get the Paralyzed if nothing else. Nope. And a Spark will finish her off, I believe. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Oh, did I forget to speed things up? Okay, well, they're sped up now. And that's the move I was talking about, Shift Gear. Uh, raises attack and sharply raises speed. So, 
I'm going to get rid of Metal Sound. And I'm going to give it Shift Gear. May go back and teach it Metal Sound depending on my moveset. Um, but for now, I think that's fine. We will stay in and try Shift Gear out. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like the animation on that. Is my heel block over? Oh, okay, well, I guess it can't heal itself, but I can heal it. Maybe that's it, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what it was. So, let's go ahead and spark. Because that's a physical attack. Call mind isn't gonna work. And there we go! Psychic Lin is no more. Um, yeah, we'll leave Altair in front. Oops, my bad. Hello. Yep, there's that nurse at the bottom of the screen there. What pleases sleeping spirits is a hot Pokemon battle. Man, the spirits can be pretty sick watching people fight. So here's a Lampent. And I'm going to go straight for the fly. Looks like I am faster. Okay, it used Curse, which would have cut its HP in half, but put a curse on me. Okay, Inferno only has a 50-50 shot to hit, so... But it has 100 power, so I'm glad it didn't do that. So I'm really glad I avoided Memento, too. That could have been bad, I think. There's Miss Magius, Miss Magius, however you want to say it, Miss Magius, Miss Magius, I don't know. Okay, it's sending him nasty bolts on me. It's sending up more nasty pots on me. Ah, uh, we'll stay in. There's nothing really we want to go into. Oh, I was faster. What is this? Okay, I'm still... I'm pretty specially and defensive. Special defense and my defense are both very good, so it doesn't really matter. So there's Kofagrigus. Or Kofagrigus, however you want to say it. I say Kofagrigus. And... Uh, Kofagrigus is really bulky. That was a critical hit. That's because these things are uh, defensive monsters. It's going to... Um, Peter again. And we will deliver a special attack instead. Yep, I eat those up. No, we will discharge. How about that? That'll take it out. And I didn't hardly have any discharge HP anyway. So that's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, We don't have to battle you, so I'm going to actually... Go straight for battling this nurse because my PP is getting pretty low on all my Pokemon, especially Peter. So let's see if we can beat her. You need a nurse's help? Sure. If you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. I've come to learn that, you know, PP loss more than a, you know, HP is really a bigger deal. So there's an Espeon which I believe we can take out. Down goes my special defense. And... that will not quite do it. Oh, Sachiko, when will you learn? Oh, 
You and your fake tears. Okay, well, I'm out of fly. I'm gonna have to outrage. Good job, Altair. In comes Blissey. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh, baby! Altair wrecking Blissey's all day. No, I don't need refresh. Another level? Right, because it's a blissey. Wow, Altair just wrecked face. Well, we don't need Altair in front anymore. Let's put Shaggy in front just for experience. I'm actually going to give... No, I'm not going to give Thief the experience share because we're about to catch something. But, uh... I will battle you. So we get two more battles in this four, and then we can go catch a new Pokemon. I really, really want to finish Celestial Tower this episode if I can. Now this thing has Levitate, doesn't it? What are your defenses like? Oh, well, I gave you the Eevee Light, so you should be okay to take something. I bet I'm slower. And I am. So Avalanche will do a good amount. One more should take it out. Boom! Okay, well, it didn't attack me, so this probably won't take it out. And it put me to sleep like a dick! Stupid Musharna. Putting me to sleep, making me use my last awakening because I was stupid and didn't buy any more. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to heal after that. There's Side Beam. Don't confuse, don't confuse, good. Aha, this should do it. And there we go. Rather dickish Musharna. There's an Alkazam, and this thing could have Energy Balls, so we are going to switch into Peter. And it went for the Calm Mind. That's okay. I'm going to go for the Shift Gear and use my Spark, I think. I'm already faster, so the speed boost doesn't really matter. But I can't let this thing set up on me. Hopefully we get the Parahax if it didn't take it out, and it does take it out, so not even a big deal at all. There's a spirit tomb. We're just gonna go ahead and keep sparking away. And it takes it pretty well. Ah, uh, that was a stupid move on your part to set up the, uh... Try to set up a, on me with a nasty pot. Because I'm faster, even without the parahax. Or the paralysis. Here's a dustclops, and these things are just... Bulky as all but Jesus. Um... I mean, let's see how much a spark does, but these things are gonna just live everything. Oh! Oh, critical hit. Okay, I was about to say, dang! That was shift gear boosted. And... I don't know. It did get a crit. Okay, spell tag is what that item was. Spell tag is an item which is going to... Oh, we already have one, apparently. So that's our second spell tag. And it powers up ghost-type moves, which we don't have on any of our Pokemon, so... Oh, we did already beat you, so that we only had one person left. Which is excellent, because it gives me more time to do what I need to do. So here we are. The, um... Last, or the second-to-last area of Celestial Tower. But... Let's see. This is also where we're going to be catching a Pokemon. Um, just to, if y'all would like a reminder, then I'm going to give you one right now, and if not, you're just going to have to sit and wait while I tell you. On the fourth floor of Celestial Tower, you can find 20% Lampent and Behem, and 10% Chimeco, Haunter, Desclops, Bayonet, which we don't have to catch, because we already had one, 
Wobbuffet, and Bronzong. So, um, I'm actually probably going to battle this trainer first because my sup uh, super repel is still in effect. I'm going to keep Shaggy in front. Hey, you! So, Steel Tower means a perfect tower. Oh, never mind. What are you. What? Celestial doesn't mean perfect, you fool. You may be an ace trainer, but I bet you did not ace school. So let's go for the earthquake. Let's go for that EQ. And roast this Magnazone. Oh, baby. There's a no way, Lord. That thing is huge. That thing is massive. Okay, Joey, your time to shine. <laughs> Holy bejeebus. Look at that storm drain. That water spout had 150 base power, but I just ate it up. And look at my special attack go up, and energy ball will oko. Oh, man. We get to see some Joey om nom nomming on water type move action this episode. So, I think Altair would be the best switch. By a long shot, actually. Because I think fly, or flying type moves are one of the things that are super effective. And Power Trick is going to raise its attack and defense. Don't really mind. Because we took it out. And there we go, we get some good monies. Let's see what we got here. A Reaper Cloth, that is going to evolve Dusclops into Dusk Noir. Hmm. Do I need to do any healing or switching or anything? Let's see, I am going to not need to heal anybody. And I'll just keep Shaggy up front, I like Shaggy getting this experience. So we got Ace Trainer, Cassandra with a K, not with a C apparently. Here's Rampardos. Which, um, don't really feel that comfortable staying in on, so. We're gonna go back to Altair. Here's the Zen Headbutt, which we can take. Not as well as I would like. Um, let's see how much a flight does. That did not a lot. But you know what? It's safer than using Outrage. I'm almost tempted to Cotton Guard up. I think I'll do that this turn. I mean next turn because I gotta heal this turn. Probably should have actually done that first turn, but heck. I thought this thing was supposed to have 85% accuracy. What are you doing? Okay, so we got our Cotton Guard now. Boosting our defense drastically. Oh, I didn't even get hit by that one. Not gonna get hit by this one either, because I'm flying. And that will not quite take it out. There's an ancient power, which is rather dickish. I am just going to fly again. Because why not? They can't miss in this um pack. And that'll do it. So now Cassandra is going to have Ooh, Shaggy Grew Level. A Torterra. So, Roosting would be a bad idea because it could use Earthquake. I'm just going to use a Moo Moo Milk. It's just going to crunch, which I can take easily. And we will fly once again. See, if I'd Roosted and this thing had tried to Earthquake me, I'd be dead. I'm eating up crunches like a monster, because Altair is just a monster. Oh, ho, ho, why? 
Speaking of rather dickish. Ooh, close. I'm in outrage. I want to take this thing out before I can use synthesis again. Okay, now... Magmortar is up. And... That'll do it. With a crit. Not sure if it mattered. Don't really care. Altair is gaining levels like crazy. Which is a good and a bad thing. We kind of need to balance things out, though. Okay, so now I'm going to switch Thief out into, into the front spot. Um... I know not everything is affected by Super Fang, but in case we run into, I don't know, like a Bronzong or something, I want to be ready. Or a Chimeco. So we got to wait for the, uh, the Super Pell to wear off, actually. So, in the meantime, we're going to go pick up this item. Oh, it's going to wear off. Which is going to happen first? Are we going to get a Pokemon or are we going to get an item? Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we got the item first, and it was Shadow Claw. Can anyone learn that, and is it worth teaching anybody that? Yeah, 80 power in this hack, 100% accuracy, no one can even learn it. So, that's all fine and dandy. Here we go. It's a Lampent! Awesome! We've been needing a Fire-type replacement, and we've actually been needing something with ghost type moves so obviously super fang isn't going to do squat so i'm going to switch into i think altair just so it can take hits and i hate to do this guys but i'm just going to have to chuck pokeballs okay it has inferno which is a pretty bad move only hits half the time it has 50 percent accuracy this is going to take a while isn't it Oh, it has the heat wave! You know what? It's got the heat wave, and if I don't like the stun, I should just stay in the shade. And I gotta drink plenty of ice cold water. And if you don't have an AC, turn on the fan. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut to when I catch it. You've gotta be kidding me! I caught it the next turn. I shouldn't even have cut away. Oh well. Um. It arrives near the moment of death and steals spirit from the body. Oh, God, that's depressing. Um, yeah, we gotta nickname this thing. I'm gonna nickname this thing, um, what I nicknamed my Litwick when I first played through Black and White. And this is actually the, uh, Japanese name of it. And I can't remember if it, if it has one A or two at the end. I'm just gonna put one, but I'm gonna nickname this thing Shandera. I would put the Japanese characters, but I don't think we can in this game. So, it actually went to our party. And it has a pretty dang awful nature. Um, wow, that's bad. Uh, better than modest, but... Jeez, um... Okay, well that's pretty horrible. So, it has Hex, which is a ghost-type move, Memento which we're getting rid of right away because the user faints when using this move. Heat Wave, which is going to be huge, and Inferno, which we're also probably going to get rid of. I may go back after I have some, uh, whatchamacallums, some, uh, heart scales, and try to see if I can learn anything better that I would have learned a while ago. But I am going to see if I can learn anything cool, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I ended up teaching it two things. Instead of Memento, I taught it Will-O-Wisp uh, to get some burn on things, possibly. Oh, as I put a Super Repel back on. And I also taught it um, Energy Ball instead of Inferno, because Inferno is pretty awful. There we go. So, now we move on to the, I believe, the roof. <gasps> oh, you came! Thank you! I was right. When I saw... What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive, then it flew... Then it felt better and flew away. Hee <laughs> hee! Don't I have a... Don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. 
Oh, that's right, since you came this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. So let's see what kind of person we are, guys. It's the Celestial Tower bell. Will you ring the bell? No! The bell was left untouched. Oh, I guess we better ring it then. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound. Zach, you are a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skyla, the leader of Miss Dalton's Pokemon Gym. I use Flying-type Pokemon. When you are ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. I would hope you won't give me a little welcome. Okay, looks like we are done in Celestial Tower, and I will see you guys back in the heart of Miss Dalton City. So, I briefly stopped over here so I could pick up this item, which turns out to be the TM81X Scissor. A very, very useful TM, in my opinion. I'm not sure if anyone can learn it. We're about to find out. But, no one can, but it's a very good TM, and hopefully someone in the future will be able to use it. Okay, I've actually decided that instead of going ahead to the gym, I think I'm going to try to finish out the rest of this area. Uh, this part right here, and then the rest to the north. Uh, and battle the trainers in here before I go challenge the gym. I have, uh... Watchog Thief in front, because it is the lowest leveled, and I'm actually going to give uh, Shandera the, or one of my many experience shares, and we should be ready to take on this, I believe it's a, a Harlequin? A battle on a raised walkway, that's kind of cool. Where do the Pokemon stand? Like, if we start wobbling whenever we get on it, how the, I don't know how we don't just die. So there's an intimidating victory bell. Um, I don't have much to take this thing on, but I'm going to switch to uh, Altair, who I know is powerful, but that's really just my best switch in. Especially on a Razor Leaf. So I'm just going to fly up into the air, take this thing out from above. And there we go. Victory Bell is down for the count. Shandera's getting some good experience. Ooh, another good match for Altair, unfortunately. Hopefully this takes it out. It has counter. Okay, good. His counter would have taken me out for sure, because I was using a physical type move. So there's a Meganium. I think my last PP of Fly should take it out. It's going to set up a light screen, which is useless, because I'm using a special move. Alright, a physical move, pardon me. And Meganium is also down, so we just took out his whole team. With Fly. Okay, our next matchup is going to be against this dude. Okay, we're back, and we're going to see what this uh, Harlequin guy wants from us. Let's see I love raised walkways. Balancing is fun, so I often come here to play. I only say we're back because I had to pause and go to a class, and now I'm back. And time to finish this out. So, he's got Clefable. Not sure what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna Super Fang. And he's gonna Dunda She. Pardon me, he's gonna Dunda Bunch. I guess I'll Strength to finish it off. There we go. Useless crit, I think. Crit nonetheless. Now here's a Golduck. Um, I'll just use Super Fang and then Crunch, I guess. Spread that PP around. So apparently I just became the Water type. Crunch doesn't take me out. I got so lucky. If that thing had, uh... not turned me into the water type, I probably would be dead right now. Shandera's already grown a level, which is nice. Um, I have strength, but I also don't want to stay in at this level of health. I'm going to go out to Shaggy, because I know I'm going to be slower and Avalanche will do a lot of damage. So it's going to Accu-Pressure, 
which is going to raise its special attack up considerably. Now it's going to chuck a try attack at me. I can take that really well and deliver a an extremely powerful avalanche with a crit. Thief finally grew to level 50, and Harlequin Ian is no more. So let's heal up before we do anything else. Um, I'm actually very happy with the way my team's turned out. Uh, I think we have pretty good a pretty good mix of just about everything. We have a grass type with a water type move. We have a ground and ice type. We now have a fire and ghost type. We have a bulky flying type, a bulky steel type with electric type moves, and we have you know a normal type with a bunch of versatility that we've had you know since one of the earliest episodes. So very happy despite the number of lost Pokemon with the way my team is right now as I use a super repel and turn on my whoops I meant to turn on my dash machine but apparently there's oh there is something around here don't know where it is but apparently I'm on it there we go an ultra ball great because I can't use it and there's dudes up here I don't think I battled this guy do I if I, I'm gonna switch out Thief just to be safe. Let's go into uh, Joey, just in case this guy wants to battle me. Yep. Conquering a mountain means conquering your fears. Can you win against Pokemon that have conquered many mountains? No. There's like a Terrell, and may he send out that Macargo. So that's like a bad matchup for my Joey. So I'm gonna have to switch out here, and I'm gonna switch into the Altair, because Altair can take whatever the damn want to throw at me. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't even know what kind of accent this is, man. Anyway, there goes its special defense. Um, I'm gonna Cotton Guard up, just because I can. Because look at that, look at my defense. There's a Lava Plume, which I take really well, minus the burn. Ha! Good thing I have burn heal! So it's going to keep raising its special defense, and I'm a lot of fly PP. But, thankfully I have one Elixir. Or a Max Aether, I'm going to use a Max Aether. And fly will be restored. Because I don't want to use it outrage this early. So we're going to fly up before this thing can hit me with anything else. Oh man, that, that's good too, because he just went for rock slide. Okay, well, I just am getting roasted here. But thanks to how bulky I am, I'm going to roost up. Oh, it's gonna shell smash? What are you doing? Okay, just lowered its special defense, which it works so hard to raise. And I'm gonna fly up. I'm still faster. Not super effective, but oh well. One more should do it now, because it keeps lowering its defense. I hope it's not faster than me. Although it might be, because its speed just rose sharply. Nope, still faster. And this should take it out. Uh, would have been good for you if you got it off, but you didn't. And now you are paying the price. So, everybody's gaining experience. Not really, but a lot of people are. And this is a great time to go into Joey. And hope it doesn't use the ground type move or something crazy. Okay, use takedown. Which I can take. Ha ha ha. And I'm going to Giga Drain. Which takes it out, and I should recover all my HP back, which I do. Go, Joey. Not quite a level up, but we're getting close. Anyway, we can't go here yet, obviously. You're Zach, aren't you? Aren't you? Are you surprised that I know? Clay told me. Uh oh, to get inside this mountain, you need to have a gym badge from the Miss Dalton Gym. The wild Pokemon here are tougher, and we want to be sure you're ready. Okay, who's who's this wee business? What what is this wee business? So we're gonna have to fly back to Miss Dalton. 
And that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, next time on Pokemon Volt White the Nuzlocke Run, it'll be episode 31. And we should get all the way through, uh, most of the way anyway, if not all the way through, hopefully all the way through, the Miss Dalton City Gym. So, get ready for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video, I am going to try bumping it back up to 15 likes, just because of how quickly it got 10 likes last video. And I feel that I think I have enough subscribers to maybe handle it. So, 15 likes to get episode 31. Uh, anyway, comment. Uh, I don't have a question of the day, really, but... Uh, Comment whatever you feel like, if you have something, a suggestion maybe. Um, if you know where to find heart scales that I can find without having surf, that would be really handy. Uh, if you know where some are um, that I haven't picked up. But if not, you know, subscribe, favorite, like, and comment. And until next time, I will see you guys later.